Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at distance, speed and time calculations and we're going to be learning how to calculate the distance travelled at a fixed speed over a set time. Now to start off with I thought I'd just introduce you to this handy little diagram here because this is actually kind of a, a cheat method for remembering what you need to do to work out either the distance, speed or time in a calculation. Now the way it works is all you need to do is cover up the thing that you want to work out and then it automatically tells you what calculation you need to do. So in this case we're wanting to work out the distance. So how do we work out the distance then? Well according to this diagram it is the speed that you're going times the time that it's taking you. Why that is, we're going to examine in a wee minute. But all we need to really remember is that if we use this diagram, we cover over the thing that we're wanting to work out, and then just do the calculation that the diagram tells us to. So, working out the distance then. Well, distance is basically just speed times time. So, let's think about this in fairly simple terms to start with. We know that we are going 6 kilometres an hour, and we're doing that for one hour. Six kilometres an hour for one hour. So after an hour, we should have gone a total of six kilometres. And that kind of makes sense. That's fairly intuitive. What if we were going the same speed, six kilometres per hour, and we did it not for one hour, but two hours? Well, that's going to be a little bit different, isn't it? We're going to go... 6 kilometres in the first hour and 6 kilometres in the second hour. In other words, we're doing two lots of 6 kilometres. So that's going to be 12. Let's think about this in a bit more detail then. So let's say we're going uh, 10 kilometres an hour and we do it for one hour. Well, 10 kilometres per hour for only one hour means we're going 10 kilometres. So the per hour part gives us a big clue. It tells us that every hour we're travelling this number of kilometres. So all we need to do is multiply the speed per hour by the number of hours. And we get our answer. So this means that if we did the same speed but for, let's say, 3 hours, 10 kilometres an hour times 3 hours, well that's going to be 10 times 3 and it's going to be 30 kilometers. Now, this works for different units as well. So this time, we've not got kilometers per hour. We have meters per second. So 7 meters per second. Uh, so in one second, then, we would be going 7 meters. In 5 seconds, we'd be doing that 7 meters five times over. So five seconds with seven meters every second. In other words, we'd be going 35 meters. Uh, and we can multiply this by any number. We, we could be doing um, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and you would just multiply it by whatever number of seconds we're using. You'll notice that we just keep the units consistent in every case. So if I'm doing it in meters per second, I give my answer in meters. So here are some challenge questions for you to try. So I'd encourage you to pause the video and use your understanding here to try and answer these questions. So you know that we are working out the distance and so we have to do the speed times the time. So pause the video now and I'm going to start going through the answers in three, two, one. Okay, so the speed here is 10 kilometers an hour and we're doing it for two hours. So that means after two hours, we will have gone a distance of 20 kilometers. The unit's kilometers because we're measuring in kilometers per hour. In this one here, we're going 80 kilometers per hour and we're doing three hours. So after three hours, we will have done 80 times three, which is going to be 240 kilometers. Now this one is a little bit trickier 
this is a bit of a trick question because we've got 14 kilometers per hour but our unit is in minutes we've only got 30 minutes there what is that really well it's actually just half an hour 30 minutes we should know is half an hour so what are we really doing well we're if we're traveling 14 kilometers every hour then in half an hour we're going to travel half the distance so what we have with this one is a it's a little bit trickier but we could think of it as 14 times a half or we could think it as uh, think of it as 14 divided by 2 either way we're going to get the answer of 7 kilometers this next one here we have 80 kilometers times three and a half hours so this one we might do a little bit differently let's go 80 I personally would quite like to chunk this one up so I would do 80 times 3 and 80 times a half because we've got a three hour and a half hour so 80 times 3 well that's the same as earlier 240 plus half of 80 well that's another 40 so in total then to work this one out we just add them together so in total in three and a half hours we'd be going 280 kilometers now this final one here is a little bit trickier and you'll notice it's in meters per second so our output this time is not going to be in kilometers like all the other ones have been this one's going to be in meters uh, and this is really quite fast 914 meters per second that's uh, the speed of a fairly fast bullet there actually um, so just doing the calculation again you could do this several different ways I'm going to be honest I've cheated and used a calculator but you could chunk it up like we did earlier so times it by two and then times it by a half because we've got two and a half seconds but I'm just going to go straight to it 914 times two and a half is 2,285 and that would be meters. So there it is guys, it really is that easy. For distance, we just do speed times time.